Soho is a place with a very mixed history. It's part of London's West End and has a reputation as an entertainment district, with entertainment being a very broad term. It's been famous for its theatre and music and its pubs, clubs and bars. It's now the home of many media companies, and despite having been cleaned up a lot in recent years, it has a reputation as London's red light district. It's also London's gay district. Chinatown and Carnaby Street are both located in Soho. There is a lot going on. But where does the name Soho come from? One explanation I've heard is that it's south of Hoban. There's another Soho in Manhattan, which is short for South of Hoosen Street. Wait, is that Hoosen, Hewson, or Housen? I don't know, I've never been to New York. But the South of Hoban explanation is not the case. Most obviously, it's not South of Hoban at all. Hoban lies to the east. The most common explanation is that it's a hunting cry. Soho, or Soho-ho, was a call used to attract a person's attention. Christopher Marlowe uses it in scene 10 of Dr. Faustus. What exactly would you hunt in Soho? Please keep your answers family friendly. We need to go back to the 16th century. At this time, the area was countryside, specifically farmland. King Henry VIII bought the land and turned it into a park. Henry was fond of all kinds of sport, including various horseback pursuits such as hunting. It seems quite plausible that a place intended primarily for hunting should be named after a hunting cry. The argument against this is that there's no direct evidence for such a thing. And this is true, we don't know of, for instance, an inn or house called Soho that could fill the gap in. But I would submit that this is a very likely explanation, and as there are no more likely explanations, at least that I've heard, this is probably our man. In the 17th century, Soho and the lands around it were built upon. The West End was a fine place for houses for the wealthy, being close to the city, but on the opposite side from its less pleasant aspects. Soho never became quite as respectable as the likes of nearby Mayfair, and by the 19th century, it had developed the somewhat seedier character that it would retain into the early 21st century. But its proximity to wealthier areas and the entertainment venues of the West End meant that it became somewhat bohemian in the 20th century. You might call it down but not out market. In recent decades, the significance of the name of Soho has changed. The Chinatown area is often considered to be its own separate thing. It's technically part of Soho, but I don't know anyone who calls it that. Meanwhile, there seems to be an effort underway to rename the more reputable area around Carnaby Street simply to Carnaby. Yet at the same time, it was quite popular a few years back for the less well-known district of Fitzrovia to be referred to by estate agents as NoHo or North Soho. I strongly disapprove of this kind of sanitization through name changes, for whatever the opinion of a train nerd on YouTube is worth. Places change all the time. They go up market and down market, respectable and seedy, as the centuries pass. Accept the place for all its flaws, and if you don't like the history, well, there'll be new history along soon enough. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If so, please do leave a like and consider subscribing below. As always, let me know if there are any other places or streets or anything in London whose name has you puzzled, and I'll see what I can find. I'd like to thank my donors on Ko-fi and Patreon, as ever, for your generous support. You are the horn to my hunt. And I'll see you all again very soon. Cheerio.